We just try and keep our goals really simple. You know, we know where we want to go. We want to win the conference, and our record's not where we want to be, but we think we still have a good chance to do that. We like our team. But anyways, even though we know what the long-term goals are, playing into March, playing in the big dance, uh, in postseason basketball, we just try and win each day. We just try and have a good day each day and reinforce our core values. Playing hard, being unselfish, having a good time, playing for each other. We feel like if we can accomplish that each day, then that's going to lead to big things. It's going to lead to our big goals at the end of the year. We have really good chemistry. That was the one thing, as, as frustrating as last year was, us not winning as many games as we wanted to. We had really good chemistry last year, and I was proud of that, and it kept us together through some tough stretches last year. And I think we've picked up from where we left off last year, and maybe even better. I, and the thing that encourages me most, that we're on the right track, that we're getting there, is the way the guys interact with each other. So I'd say that's the thing about this team that I'm, that I'm happiest with, most proud of. I think some guys are ready. I think TJ's close to being ready. I think maybe once we get James up and running, he can do that some, so that Doug can save his legs just a little bit for offense. But Doug's just really important to what we do overall. You know, the, the effort that he plays with, possession by possession, against the best player their team has in the perimeter, has been really special the last two years. And, and I'd like to continue to lighten his load in that area so that he can score for us a little more. Aaron does a really good job, uh, junior, big man. Number 32, Aaron Erson is really good both ways, good rim protector for us, and, and has had some double digit scoring games this year. He's shooting some more threes, and, and so I think his experience is starting to shine. Cam has recently start, stepped in the starting lineup. He's doing a good job for us. Um, we have a number of, of guys, both young and veteran, who have had flashes. Not as many have been consistent, so, that's really what we're searching for in the rotation, is who can be consistent for us, next to Doug, really. The core values that are really important to us are humility, gratitude, joy, and enthusiasm. That's what we're trying to push this year. And what I really want the guys to do is be grateful for the opportunity that they have, just on a day-to-day -day basis. Work like you're grateful. Work like you're, you feel blessed to be here. That's humility, that's gratitude, and I just think that's a good way to live. I think that's a good way to be a member of a basketball team. I think that's a good way to live. And, and sort of go along with that is accountability. You know, we, what I encourage the team to do is when things go well or when things don't go well is start with yourself. What can I do to be better? And showing that kind of ownership and accountability to me makes good people and it also makes good basketball players. So it, it's a life lesson thing, but it, it also is applicable to our team right now. If everybody approaches every single day in terms of, all right, what did I do? How can I get better? How can I help the team? Uh, I'm just looking forward to playing with a good group of guys, hopefully getting some wins this year, playing well in conference, really just coming together to uh, just have a good team, play well together. I think it's something uh, we're, just, we're building. And, uh, it should be a lot of fun. Team goals, I'd like to finish top four in conference. I think it's possible. I think it's gonna be a trek to get up there, especially a tough loss for our first conference game. Uh, but I think it's attainable, I think it's reachable. Uh, I think top, top four in conference would be like really cool. Uh, there's, there's a couple ways too. Uh, handle adversity, I'd say either one. You just gotta get back in the gym, keep working, uh, get some more shots up, uh, you know. If you're if you're in the weight room, go hit the weights. Uh, kind of just find a find a space where you can really work, uh, but also a place where you can have your head clear and you're just uh, kind of focused on, you know, doing what you love. And uh, I feel maybe if you're not gonna do that, just take a break, rest for a little bit, take a couple days off, uh, kind of clear your head, and you know, come back and you'll see it see things in a different different light. Uh, what I'm looking forward to most is building camaraderie with the team. Got a lot of new guys this season, so looking forward to building chemistry and just continuing on into conference. I'm excited for these next couple games we got coming up. We're headed to Washington in a couple days, so I think that's going to be great for our camaraderie.
Um, I look to lead by example, as well as this year, trying to incorporate a vocal role as well for myself and trying to just keep everybody on the same page and build everyone up, even when things are going wrong. A couple of my individual goals this season is probably to lead the team in rebounds, lead the team in blocks, and if I can, lead the team in assists. Now points, I mean, I want to at least average around eight or nine points a game. As long as I can help the team with scoring, I'm willing to do that. But my focus this year is rebounding and defense. Our team goals is to finish in the top half of conference, which I think we are very capable of doing this year. We got a couple of tough games coming up, um, starting off conference with Birmingham Southern, who we had a tough loss to earlier this season. So I think my main thing is to finish top half in conference and if possible, maybe even host conference tournament. I think um, that Coach Prather has started something where if we have a good day in the weight room, we earn an actual break. So if you go in our locker room, you'll see a stack of bricks, and that's just from all from good days that we had in the weight room. So I think that's big, just having a next day, like, I got to win this day mentality. I think that's key.